Hey everybody, it's your friend Kevin. It's great to be here. I hope you're well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today's Friday, the 21st of April, 2021, and this is your card of the day. Okay, so we've got the Angel Tarot cards, 78 card deck with... Uh, by Radley Valentine uh, with artwork by Steve Roberts. Let's get that out of the way. Put that up there. Mm -hmm. Great Father in the sky, loving Mother in the earth, angels, ancestors, beings of light from all four corners, from all realms. I welcome you to this space and thank you for allowing me to be your messenger. I set the intention to bring a card of the day. Let this card and the reading be of great service, be of great value, and be clear to all recipients. So be it, and so shall it be. All right. Oh, that one wants to come out and say hey. There we go. Now, we have the world card number 21 with Archangel Michael really dramatically placed within this laurel and uh, the balancing scepters on each side uh, as above so below as within so without everything everything let's see how this card will influence today's reading ego oh 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 now in traditional tarot, this card would be seen as the devil. Archangel Jophiel is here to sort of manage our egoic mind and keep things into check. Now, it might be a bit tough because none of us, none of us want to admit or sometimes we wear them like a, a car, like a like a robe, if you will, like a, a mark of honor that our ego's gone away with us, and we need to just we need that, and we need to, you know. This card and this energy today is really about a false sense of feeling entrapped. So what I want you all to realize today, that when we see this ego thing and then realize it's being governed by Archangel Jophiel, who is the beauty of God. God is asking you to be in awe of your own opulence, your own brilliance, your own beauty, your own uh, epiphanies you are to be in the oh my goodness how great thou art how great I am how amazing I am the challenge is that as we grow up as we are in the infancy of this physical world this experience we came to do other humans have taught us because they were taught and told and their forefathers taught and told them that to be seen and to be, uh, let's see, I guess you would call it postulize or, or put yourself on a pedestal or show off is vulgar. Well, in some respects it kind of is, but then I'm also guided to look at the cover of this deck of cards and then here we have Archangel Jophiel that is right here with two chalices or two urns pouring everything like love on all of the earth and then here she is again today with today's card saying to this person you me us take the mask off show the beauty that's behind the mask stop putting your light up under a bushel. It is time for you to look at what it says here. What does it say on here? 
a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things, negativity, fear-based thoughts. Now, Michael, the world card, because of that influence, I feel those influences upon you, this false sense of security, this um, obsession with materialism has ended because this is the world card. It is the end of that type of cycle. You are coming out of your cave. You are emerging into the great platform that you have set yourself on to be. My only little nugget of growth for all of you at this time and today is when you are in the magnificence of yourself. You can even write down an affirmation. I am magnificent. I am aligned with my mission and I am anchored in my purpose. When you're using those I am statements, everything at the end of I am is commanding the energy of the God that lives within you to come out, the genie out of your own bottle, the, the opulence of God. Now, the little bit about materialism. We can all get caught up in it. You know, the wanting of things. And I believe in manifestation, that's a journey. I know for my own self, it would be lovely to say, I want to manifest, uh, I don't know, car, truck, this, that. And indeed, and I've got goosebumps, so I know that there's spirit talking. That's possible, and it comes into fruition. These things that get presented to us in this particular physical life, miraculously, out of the blue, defining all odds of saying, yes, here it comes. Those things, their blessings, their miracles, are there to show that you've got the power within you to do all these things, to make these things happen. Where we get stuck is on the bigger things, the um, tough stuff, the lessons that we want to work through, the habits of lifetimes, plural. This one, the last one, the one before that, the one before that, the one before that, if you believe in reincarnation, which I do. I cannot imagine a soul inhabiting a physical body, having a physical experience once and not wanting to get back in line and try the ride again. There is something very special, something very honourable about being who you are. That is what today's energy is about. Pull around the beautiful sapphire blue light of Archangel Michael and stand in the opulence of who you are, along with the opulence of who other people are. Don't allow yourself the illusion of either intimidating other people or feeling or being intimidated by other people. That is again a false illusion and all of the ego. Archangel Jophiel, her colour is beautiful magenta, that gorgeous pink that for me personally, it's like one of my new favourite colours. I like to pair it with sunshine yellow, which is the lovely colour of Archangel Uriel, which is the light of God, the fire of God. I like to think Uriel is the opulence of God. When Archangel Uriel appears to me, it's almost like, one of those chorus line dancers in um, in that show, a chorus line, you know, one singular sensation. They've got that gold top hat and that gold tails. And I'm like, oh, Lordy, look at this one in front of the mirror. Could be me. <laughs> anyway, I think that's really it. The message, simple, plain, tied up in a bow. Be with your own Brilliance, because you are magnificent, brilliant, and you need to be claiming it. That's really how we lift, how we lighten, how we raise vibration. 
the tough thing is that we've spent years truly denying these things and believing in a false story false narrative unfortunately the spiritual growth pathway does require some discipline and it requires the falling away of people, places, situations, stories, drama, nonsense that gets in the way of your path. They hold you back, they keep you stuck. It's tough. The other tough part is those who, and we can be guilty of it, watch yourself if you if you feel like someone's coveting what you're doing uh naysayer um you know what is it what was it the green-eyed monster the jealousy monster then mm, try be careful not to judge that look at it in a way that says i want to know where in my life i've done that that's the lovely awareness not lovely exactly but it's what spirit wants to show us through the experience of others where we ourselves can just kind of get the spiritual mop and bucket out and do a little, <laughs> a little dusting, a little cleaning. I have to do it. I do. I seriously do. I catch myself. Um, I'm trying to think of a way to say, how do I do that? How do I stop the judgment? Because it is judgment. Ooh, now I've got a goosebump. So here comes one. Mm. oh yes i uh thank you i um the awareness stops it done when i see it hear it watch it in someone else and it doesn't matter whether it's someone i know or don't know there's this little oh out like a like a like a oh goodness gracious that is the awareness that I think I might have done this and hmm, I'm going to work on not doing this anymore. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on it like a workbook. You know, when you do classes and exercises, you get your workbook out and this is what you're going to work on. The tough thing is when you don't quite complete it or do it or, or get through it, there's a beat you up session. No, 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 <laughs> no. You just go right back. Oh, okay. I've got to do this now. Remember, you know, there's a spiritual part of all of us that's inside dancing around in the linear experience of this physical world, which it took me a while to get that. Well, of course it did, because I had been so locked into the linear day, time, hour, minute, the, the quick deadline stuff, that to get the concept that things run together at the same time and place and space was really challenging. Anyway, I don't want to get into the weeds with that. Have a great Friday. Remember how important, how magnificent, how much you matter, what you say matters, who you're around matters, the message you give matters, everything matters. And until tomorrow, I love you. Thank you so much. Bye.